Hi, my name is Dr. Shree and I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynaecologist and I'm delighted to be here today to speak to you about a very common condition that I come across and that's called polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now that may be known as PCOS or PCOS for short. So what exactly is polycystic ovarian syndrome? Well, as the name implies, it is a syndrome with multiple little cysts or follicles within each of the ovaries. So now, how do women actually present with PCOS or polycystic ovary syndrome? Well, the most common symptom that I come across is irregular periods. And obviously that may not be such an issue if you're not trying for a baby. But clearly, if you are trying to conceive, then having a regular menstrual cycle is the biggest assuring factor to releasing an egg and therefore getting pregnant. So often, the only time that women actually present with polycystic ovaries or polycystic ovary syndrome, more commonly, is when they're trying for a baby. So what types of factors affect whether someone develops polycystic ovary syndrome or not? Well, factors such as genetic background, or in fact medications they've been taking, or body mass can all affect whether someone has polycystic ovary syndrome and how big an impact that has on their periods. So there are several fa different factors that we would look for when someone comes to us complaining of possible polycystic ovary syndrome. Firstly, we would always find out a bit more about you in terms of your medical background, how irregular your cycles have been, and of course, how long they've been irregular for. We'd look at any other gyne history or gynaecology problems that you've had previously, and we'd marry up your story as we put the pieces together. Of course, as with any consultation, we would always examine you, but then we'd also be looking at hormonal blood tests specifically at set points in your cycle, if we can, all right? And finally, we would put these pieces together in conjunction with doing a pelvic ultrasound. And often what we're looking for are hormonal changes at certain points within the cycle, or indeed findings of follicles, multiple follicles within each ovary on ultrasound. We'd also look at the lining of your womb, specifically if you are trying to get pregnant at the same time. So those are really the diagnostic investigations that we would use to find out whether you definitely have a likely diagnosis of polycystic ovary syndrome. But what can we actually do about it? Well, there's a whole host of different treatments um, and management plans that we would individually tailor to your circumstances. And that can range from looking at your diet, the supplements that you're taking, or even your body mass index, so your weight. And then we can also look at medical treatments, such as hormonal contraception to help regulate those periods. But of course, not if you're trying to conceive. There are more invasive treatments, which we may consider, such as keyhole surgery, but those are more rarely used because they are invasive. And in the majority of cases, we don't actually need to look at those treatments. So I hope that's been a useful summary, a quick stop summary of polycystic ovary syndrome. Now, one of the common questions I do get asked is what is the difference between polycystic ovaries and polycystic ovary syndrome? Now, polycystic ovaries is a finding on ultrasound where you have multiple lots and lots of little follicles in the ovaries, but you may still have a regular menstrual cycle, so a regular period. In polycystic ovary syndrome, that's where not only do you have the follicles in the ovaries, but you may also have hormonal dysfunction. So your hormonal screen may be slightly off center or abnormal. And that's where actually you may have a greater risk of being symptomatic. So having problems with your period. And that's where we'd actually look at whether we need to redress that hormonal balance. So that's a key difference between simply having polycystic ovaries, a finding on ultrasound, which may not necessarily translate into the full-blown syndrome itself. So I hope that's been a helpful synopsis. Take-home messages are, if you have problems with your periods, 
please come and see us early so that we can think about whether a hormonal blood test or in fact an ultrasound can help us piece together quite why your periods are becoming irregular. That's all for the moment and I look forward to speaking to you soon.